Hi, I'm so happy you're here. So I'm the face behind uh, the last three paintings that you've seen, as promised. I'm going to show you the dried results of the last two uh, pours. Um, hold on one second. Okay, so I don't know if you remember this. I think this was the first um, video that I posted. Um, I guess I could, I'll take you down so I could show you better. Sorry. I have no idea what I'm doing with cameras and YouTube, but hey man, I'm giving it a go. Um, this hobby has brought so much to my life. It's, it's really been a true blessing. Um, the people that I've talked to, the people that I watch, the people that I've recently connected with, it's just incredible. So um, if you find this video interesting, then keep watching. Um, I'm going to keep doing this. This is uh, my own personal journey into the paint world. I am satisfied with it, um, but that's just me. Uh, let's see. can't think. So what do you think of that? I'll give you the close-up. Lovely lines. Um, some cells in there. That are kind of cool. Wasn't going for cells. Didn't uh, mix my uh, composition for cells. So the fact that they showed up and they're okay is, is works for me. I think that with this painting, I went too much with the copper. Um, the metallics take over. I remember thinking that gold did that, and I forgot. This is a, this was my first ring pour um, with the split cup. And let me tell you the difference, huge difference. This is completely dry. You can see the little imperfections um, that I got to fill in, but was really happy with this um the colors are spectacular and uh it's a goodie um let me take you over to this one this is cool i think this is cooler in person because uh if you look at it it's kind of uh textured let me see if i can yeah you see that and so, um, it really just took a life on its own, and it's incredible. It kind of reminds me of Lava Rock, Lava Rock, um, maybe Yellowstone. Never been there, but I picture seeing something like this. Maybe not. This is just a canvas that went wrong. It's, I wasn't going for a swipe. I actually forget what method I used, but it didn't work out, and it's just something I'll have to redo. I've done a lot more paintings, but this is what I could show you in here. Sorry, place is a mess. My kids, I have two small kids. They're at school right now, both of them. Um, so this is working right now. This painting I'm going to put downstairs. Um, we have a finished basement. I love this, um, and this is exactly why I started documenting. Um, I want to say that was a Dutch pour that went wrong, but happy mistake. I love it. It's beautiful. Taking a close up of this. These are all dry. So, you know what? I Sometimes they turn out better when they're dry. Uh, and you're surprised, and then other times it's, oh man, it's too dark, it's not going to work. Now this one, it's actually separate. You can tell I like gold and the metallics. 
Um, this one was, I was going for a swipe. Um, but I think I got carried away with uh, this. I kind of wanted the drip effect, um, but it didn't turn out that way. I do want to uh, redo this painting, but I've been hesitating because check these cells out. I just don't, I wish I could fix the middle and I've been thinking about it for weeks. If okay, what if I just painted this black um, and just left it like that? I don't think I would like it. Um, what if I just went ahead and used the same? For this, I used copper, silver, gold. Um, it was the 24K Deco Art Gold. The other metallics, I don't remember. But this documentation is going to help me. So if I want to create something like that again, then I know exactly what I did. Not that it's going to come out that way, but at least I have some sort of outline in which to follow. So, yeah, but, man, if this painting, those cells are man-made, by the way. Um, they just looked burnt when I, uh, hit the torch on it to get the bubbles out. Um, but I think I overdid it. The only reason I'm saving this painting is for those cells, but that's amazing. It, it's shimmering. Like I never had that before in any of my paintings. Excuse me. Like I said, I have a cold. What else can I show you? Not the mess. <laughs> Um, so this was one that I did early on, uh, when I first started out, um, my paints were too thin at one point, but I was just playing around with stuff. I liked the way this one turned out. Um, I probably wouldn't keep something like this today because... I just like a cleaner, more defined, um, you know, piece, whatever you want to call it. This is already dusty. Um, this was pretty cool because um, they, they were truly the biggest cells I was ever able to do. Um, this, I believe, was the first time I used that OGX hair serum. Let me tell you, it's amazing. I've used silicone. I've used a little bit of alcohol. I've used all kinds of things for, for cells. OGX, baby. I love it. It's, the stuff is amazing. Um, this one. Um, sorry. Where's the camera, man, when you need one? Uh, okay. <clears throat> so this one, um, I actually painted this for my brother. I was going for royal blue, and uh, I got royal purple. Um, but I thought it was interesting. And even though I had done this uh, two, three months ago, I'm not critical of how it turned out. I still like it. But this is going to eventually be hung at my brother's. Um, I wanted to resin it before I gave it to him because I think that would make the colors pop. And I don't use silicone in my painting, so it's no big deal to throw resin on there. Silicone um, can affect how your... Um, paintings come out. I'm sorry about the mess. Uh, let me show you a couple more. This one I was just kind of playing around with. I'm going to throw this in my um, son's room, hang it up. He loves red and he happens to like this. Nothing fancy. Um, who knows what I did. I, I remember these little squigglies were basically the ketchup-like bottles that you can buy. And I had paint in there with the medium, and I just used it like it was a 
pen pendulum. I hope I said that right. Okay, and we have this one that I thought was pretty cool. That's just some of them. Um, I have more. This was also an early one. I messed around with this one a lot. Um, it, this is basically my experiment canvas, but what I did was, um, because I had painted on it so much and I didn't know what I was doing whatsoever, I would just, it's very thick. It's thick with old paint. Um, so I had to resin it, which I'm happy about. Um, and before I resined it, I decided to put this broken glass in there just to cover a few pits, cover some, uh, what looks like burn spots. There's little dark brown things that show up from time to time. Um, I was thinking about giving this to my brother if he's interested, but I, I just kind of feel like this one, um, you know, it's... It's not one of my favorite ones. It it just feels like uh, I'm just holding on to it for him to see if he likes it. Um, this was a swipe. I like it. I it's kind of plain, and but there's just something about it I really like. I don't, I don't think a lot of other people like it as much as I do, but hey, everyone to each his own, I guess. Now, if I knew how to edit these videos, then I could take out what you saw of the messy toys, but I can't do that. And I'm at a point um, now that's... If things aren't perfect, okay, that's the way it is. I'm not going to stress about it. Like I told you, this painting hobby, um, it's been a, tr it's been an absolute blessing for me. I, uh, I was going through a lot before the pandemic, of course, went through a lot with the pandemic as all of you have, but I've really, um, learn something positive and I'm holding on to it and I want to share it with you and hopefully you enjoy and you can give me some pointers and maybe you know new connections new friendships um I just love it and I want to talk about it I want to videotape it I want to share it so that's it it says 13 minutes um I hope you enjoy this I have done more paintings uh most of them are hung up. If you guys are interested, I'll show you. Um, you just have to email me, uh, artaddict at gmail.com. I just use that email just for my YouTube channel. Um, so I keep it separate from everything else. It's special and um, I want to answer people right away. So... Thank you for watching, and I'm going to mix some paints up and uh, get prepared tonight for another pour. We'll see what we want to do. I know that I'm going to go completely different away from the paints that I was using because I had to use it for three different paintings. Um, they didn't come out so great. It was kind of rushed. I just wanted to get my videos out there and you know, just kind of introduce myself. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, have a good day. It's a beautiful afternoon, October 20th, 2020. You know, think about what you could do, something positive for your life. And if it works for you, reach out to other people, share it. It could help somebody. Um, all right, have a good day and I hope that somebody watches this. Thanks.